Hey guys, uh, got another quick video update. Um, not a lot of time lapse, or not any time lapse uh, in this version. Um, we haven't had a lot of big projects to do, uh, to do the time lapse for, so um, we've mainly just uh, been working on uh, some of the fine details, which have been quite boring. So, so basically, we're just really doing a lot of body work and tweaking in the, the final lines uh, to the car and make sure everything's symmetrical. Uh, ran into some issues on one of the headlights and had to correct that. And that took a while and was rather frustrating. So, <laughs> uh, but now everything's everything's great on on the lights and no more no more jacking with the lights. Um, so basically, we're now moving on to um, the wheel wells and we've we've determined the size tire and wheel that we're going to use. And now we had to uh, to make a form that fit inside the wheel wells. And we're going to use this to uh, to finish shaping um, uh, the, the the wheel area and and getting everything just perfect. Um, we're using our, our gantry right now to to make sure that the these things are centered exactly in the right place. And uh, you know, as you can see, just kind of back off. You can kind of get an idea how this thing's built. Um, basically, it's just out of three quarter MDF and uh, screws and glue and <laughs> uh, and that's it and so we have a hole that goes straight to the center of the uh, of the form and then we have an arrow uh, believe it or not that is uh, pointing to the center of this hole and on the other side we have another arrow and it points to the center of the hole on the other side and then we have a laser that um, shines through the holes um, on both sides and and make sure that everything's square and in in line uh, the way that it needs to be. So uh, you can see um, this arrow. I don't know if you see that, but the tip of the arrow basically, uh, when we move the gantry back and forth, follows that line. And uh, you know, and, and shows us that we're we're right on it. So uh, we can line it up to that hole, and then go back on the other side and we should be right on the hole on the other side. So, uh, which we are, if you can see that. So, um, uh, so anyway, so this helps us align everything and keep, keep everything uh, uh, symmetrical and, and within tight tolerances, basically. Uh, and, you know, and then we also have little things hanging down from the gantry that go along the side profile. Uh, on both sides and and then everything is basically measured off the center line to the car which is a uh, little laser line I'm going up that way that's kind of cool so um, anyway so the little gantry is turned out to be um, pretty accurate now we've really got this thing dialed in and it works well and uh, you know not too bad uh, being scratch made from windshield wiper motor and some uh, garage door cable <laughs> so uh, so anyway it's working out pretty good and um, just want to uh, give you guys an update on this um, the next thing that we'll be doing which I, I'll probably do the uh, probably do the uh, time lapse uh, we'll just be tweaking in the fenders and doing the body work on both sides so we'll see how that goes and of course we still have the big vents on the side which I will sculpt basically after um, we get the uh, the wheel well uh, uh, figured out more and, and sculpted in and shape and all that. So, uh, so other than that, you know, we're waiting on some more supplies. Uh, we're waiting on some special um, sanding blocks uh, that will allow us to uh, to sand inside uh, the front grill, and this will um, this will be real handy because. A lot of crazy corners, and, and we need to get some some sharp edges and things like that, uh, and get to them. And the blocks will uh, will allow us to do that. They're all different, you know, various sizes and shapes and things like that. So that'll really help us um, later down the road. Uh, and um, we've uh, updated the uh, the CAD file uh, and did a little tweaks on the hood. So the design of the hood is the same, but the way it opens is different now. So um, what we're going to do is uh, 
basically um, leave the front end uh, grill area or openings um, intact and that will be a separate piece just like on a, uh, a regular production car. It'll come off like a normal bumper does. Um, and then the hood will still be one piece but it'll have a, a, a cut line in between the headlight area and it will lift up slightly and then slide forward and up. So uh, I know that's kind of hard to explain, may not make a whole lot of sense, um, but it, I'll, I'll post up a, uh, a rendering of it and you guys let me know if you like it or not. So uh, the, hood, the hood thing has been kind of bothering us because the whole front end is pretty heavy, you know, and having to lift all that with the headlights and, you know, fog lights and duct work that we were going to have just wasn't going to work. So, um, so we needed to, uh, to, to kind of rethink that and having this hood open up this new way is, I think, going to make it much, much more functional, lighter and easier to get to and, and work on and, and assemble and all those things. So uh, just too many pluses to, to not do it really. Um, with that, uh, not a whole lot else, uh, not a whole lot of anything else going on. Um, you know, still working on the hard top a little bit. Uh, we're not really ready to tackle that fully, so we're just, you know, working on it here and there as ideas come to us and, and uh, things like that. So, um, I guess over the next uh, few weeks, we'll be working on these, these wheel wells. Um, we're going to create the same forms that we have on the on the wheels on the front wheels and the back and do the back um, because we really have really wide tires that we're putting on the back i don't know if you guys have seen these so um, this is a 325 uh, 35 19 and you know it's a I don't know, 12 13 inches wide so it's pretty big and um, this is just one i pulled off of a of a tire pile out in the back that all these guys race with and and we're just using it for mock-up purposes so this is what's going on the back and then on the front we'll have a 19 inch that is more around like a 275 285 um, so uh, so that'll look nice on the car um, so other than that I think that's pretty good um, got a, a, a new welder so we're we're able to do some better welding and things, and uh, got our metal in. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, other than that, I guess that's that's it. And um, I'll uh, post some more pictures and and video uh, coming soon. So check us out on Facebook, and um, we'll uh, we'll keep that updated, and uh, and we'll uh, keep posting. So see you later.